Yo, welcome back guys to 10 minute tutorials. Now I know we haven't been continuing the cyber defense path this week and the reason for that is it is a short week and I wanted to get these videos out there that people can have fun with and enjoy on the holiday weekend. So first things first guys, if you guys are enjoying the content, like, subscribe, we're almost to 900 and then we are going to hit a thousand. It's gonna be freaking awesome, I'm pumped. So before I say anything, most people understand what geolocation is. This is gonna teach you how to geolocate IP addresses. Better yet, it's gonna teach you how to create a script to do this for you. And then from there, whatever you do with the script, you can get crazy with it. You can write reports, you can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and run the geolocation script. Okay, so here's our script geolocation. And we're just gonna use Google's IP address because it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not I'm not going to put my own IP address in there or anything like that. So geolocation, you put the IP address you want as your variable, hit enter, and then watch it run. So it says your IP address 8888 is located. And then here's the thing. So I purposely have not edited this to get crazy because I have to keep this under 10 minutes, right? So what I mean is you see these are still TRTD. These are still tags, HTML tags, but you can see your IP address is located United States, California, in the city of Mountain View. Okay, your organization is Google, Google. And then here's your uh, latitude, longitude, okay? So you can see there, and it tells you latitude, longitude. So in that order, latitude, longitude. And then right here, it tells you the ISP is Google and the organization is Google. Now, you can do this with any IP address. And here's the cool thing about the script that I'm gonna show you guys, is you can edit if you're not getting the com or the information you want, and I'll show you what I mean. So first things first, let's walk through this script just a little bit, and then we will go through um, what we're doing. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do is declare the URL. Now the URL is HTTPS IPLocation.net IP Lookup. Now you can see here, here's the website. I don't know why that's open. Here's the website. Now here's the cool part, right? If, if you can go here and you can search whatever, but you can also just put whatever you want after there for the IP address and it will search it for you. Now, here's all the different sources, IP to location, IP info, DB IP, IP registry, blah, blah, blah. These are all sources. So if you're getting results that, you know, maybe they're not giving you the ISP or they're not giving you the location, you can change sources and the script allows for that. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, here's where the fun of scripting comes in and where it gets a little bit complex and it's not even complex i'll just show you what i mean here's how i did this so what i had to do was you can see all we did for the actual command so we echoed your ip address and then one so a dollar sign one just means the first variable that you give it in a syntax so you saw that i had to put the ip address actually in there if that ip address doesn't exist if it doesn't you'll get an error um so keep that in mind if you don't put the IP address in there. Now you could say, to make this a little bit more user friendly, you could put in here echo um, you know, or input of, hey, what is your IP address you're looking to do? And then have them type it in. But this is just an easier way to do it. Um, but you can see all these are commented out, these commands. Those are all different sources. You can see they have different sources. And I'll show you basically how I created this. So first thing we did was a curl that just gathers the information, we dumped it. And then you can see here's the variable, the URL, which is we have set. And then the dollar sign one, which is right here. So you can change this script. You can do it with all kinds of stuff. But there's the dollar sign one, which is what you're going to be inputting. So that's where we put the 8888. That turns into dollar sign one. Okay. So then from there, we're grepping it. Now, here's what I'm going to show you guys. If, well, we can't really do that. But if we say curl and we just say tech s dump and we just do the ip address or the uh address here and we say https and we say ip location.net slash ip lookup and then we just do it ourselves 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 because that's what it's doing but we get the full dump. I'll show you how I got to where I can narrow down the results. So that way you guys can do this yourself. Um, you can even make it more narrowed down. If you've used Linux and Bash, you know that you can actually get rid of all these extra characters. Um, but I had to keep this under 10 minutes. So I want to keep making sure that you guys understand it as well. 
So let's go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. So you can see you're going to have to go through a lot of code because this is all HTML. This is the document or the uh, actual website. But what you can see here is as we go up to the top, we get to these right here where it says, for instance, this is, so that one didn't give us much. Here we go. This is iPoppy. That is IP API, iPoppy, however you want to say it. This is right here, real time data. And you can see this is the source. So all I did was I grepped for iPoppy or IP API, right? Right here's the one and then here's the other. I so I grepped for them. So then it'll find this instance right here where it does this. And then it'll give me, so then all I did was the TAC A15 is, I want 15 lines after IP API, okay? So I want 15 lines after. So if you count them out, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there we go, we get 15 of them, right? And you can see that as you go, as you scroll up, you're gonna see that there's actually, here's another one, this is ipgeolocation.io, and so on and so forth. And they all give you similar information, but they're all gonna be in different formats. So what I had to do was I had to go through them, and then say after ipoppy.co, I want 15 lines. So then what, what you're seeing is you're gonna see all this. That's what's gonna be, net, what it's gonna give you, right? Then from there, I grepped it again, I grepped those 15 lines and I said, hey, out of those 15 lines, I only wanna see nine lines after, and you can see the dollar sign one, after our IP address. So after whatever IP address we put in there, I wanna see nine lines after. Now the reason I put nine, and you'll see, I'll go up to the one, that specific one, which is IP, what is it? I don't even know what it was, IP something. Do, 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 do. Okay, we might be too far, but that's all right. I think we're too far. All right, let's go. just go back down. So you can see if we go back to it, it doesn't really matter which one we do as long as you see it. Okay, so you can see this is IP2 location. You can see from the first time this pops up, so keep in mind, it's not grepping the whole document at this point. It's only grepping 15 lines after the IP API, or in this case, the IP2 location. So what that means is it's only giving us these 15 lines. That's all we're working with right now. So we're narrowing down that data. Then from there, we're saying, okay, cool. Now we want nine lines after our IP address. So here's our IP address. Now let's count them. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine stops right on the last bit of information. So you can see, I'm only gonna get this information right here, which narrows it down big time. Now, from here, you could go through it and you could actually get rid of all these special characters, get rid of it, and get it in a nice format. The problem is, and one of the reasons I didn't do this, is number one, I have to keep it under 10 minutes. Number two, um, each one of them's in a different format, so you'd have to do it for each one. So the point of this is, let's say you're, you run it, you run the script, you don't get the uh, results you want. We'll go in here, get rid of this one and comment out this. So just go ahead and get rid of that comment and then comment this one. And now you have a totally different source that you're gonna pull that data from, right? And then if let's say you wanna run them all, you could run them all, it'll take a while, but you could. Now, is this faster than going to the website? Yeah, a little bit. But the key to this is you could run this and have it do a bunch of IPs rather than you manually typing in one at a time. So you could geolocate a bunch of IPs, save that data, and then from there you can do whatever you want with it. Now, you can see this script was designed to be edited and manipulated. The reason I say that is because this script is designed to have you format it however you want so that you can use the data however you want. That is one of the reasons I didn't format it as well. The other thing is, you can see that there's a lot you can do with this. This is a very, very simple script, but this does teach you how to think about scripting in a different way because you can use scripts for a lot of things, not just things on your computer. Like this is geolocating an IP address. It took you know maybe 20 minutes to create the script, 10 minutes to teach it, and here you guys are learning it, and now you can geolocate IP addresses with no prior knowledge and that just came from a simple, simple, you know, five line script. So keep that stuff in mind, guys, when you guys are doing these, that you can really get specific with scripts and you can have a lot of fun and do some really crazy things with scripting and 
you know, Python scripts, bash scripts, all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's 10 minutes. I hope you guys have a great day.